Hi Arnold, my name's Lockie, I am one of the exercise scientists here at the clinic. How are you going, how's your morning been? Uh, it's been pretty busy, I've been at the QAS um, doing internships, so... Yep? Yeah. Is that first something you're doing for university, is it? Yeah, it's a university prep. Oh cool, tell me a little bit about that. So I'm just shadowing one of the head coaches um, for jumps, Australian head coaches, and just helping in that and learning off him. It sounds pretty interesting, you enjoying that? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Mm, beauty. Um, looking on for today, um, have you spoken with or worked with an exercise scientist before? Um, I've spoken to, I've heard about exercise scientists, but I've never personally like got programs or anything like that. Okay. Would you like to know a little bit more about the kind of stuff that we do? Yeah. I mean, I suppose myself, along with the other exercise scientists here, we sort of, um, we really like to just prescribe individualised programs that, that suit that client. So sort of. We look at what they like, what they don't like, sort of their goals, and then sort of we really narrow them down that right direction. Um, we work with athletes, healthy populations, not so healthy populations, male, female, big variation in age groups as well. So I'm really excited to see what we can uh, what we can help you with. Um, I guess that's where we can start. Sort of what has brought you in today? Um, I used to be a sprinter. Um, I quit about two years ago. So I went from about six sessions a week to nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm looking, I came here because I realised through my exercise science study that I'm not getting any of the benefits from exercise that I used to really enjoy. So I really want to get back into it. Okay. Sounds like um, you've had a pretty big change in your life. Yeah, fairly big. It, the change actually happened a few years ago, but okay. I really just want to get back into the the exercising and good body and the feels that you feel when you exercise, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it's, it's great that you sort of identified that, that possibly the exercise isn't, isn't there at the moment. And obviously it takes you know a lot of courage because it can be pretty daunting coming in and talking to people sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I suppose you're definitely on the right track. So, you know, the first step, so definitely on, yeah, going down the right path. Um, so exercise, it's, it's something that's important to you at the moment. Yeah, it's really important. Um, in recent like years, it's probably taken a backseat to work and uni, but I really want to get back up there with the importance because, yeah, I want to get fit again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, tell me a little bit about the, the sprinting that you used to do. I used to train six times a week. Um, I was, I like the competitive nature. I loved it when I was in it, but... I didn't see myself making con games or Olympics, so I didn't see the point in killing myself yep. to get there. <laughs> so it sounds like it was pretty intense. Yeah, it was. A yep. lot of lactic work. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so so far I'm sort of getting, you know, you've, you've done a lot of competitive, pretty high intensity sprinting, and, and now you're sort of, in the last two years, that intensity, the exercise has dropped off, and, and that's sort of what you're after is it is sort of just really um finding a way to get that exercise back into your life yeah yeah sure um i suppose you've, you've come for my help so i'd like to know what you think i might be able to help you with um keeping me accountable yep um because i do get motivation waves of motivation when i go out and exercise or go to the gym but as soon as i see a line for a piece of equipment or something yeah I um, leave, or if it's um, hit training or something. Yeah. As soon as I get like tired and I really want to do the last yeah. set, I kind of leave and sort of tell myself, "Yeah, you did the session." <laughs> yeah. When in reality, I didn't. Whilst when I had to report to yourself, or when I'm in a group environment, it keeps me accountable and like, "Yeah, you're gonna do it." The rest of the group's doing it, or okay. giving me that to do, like, can't justify not doing it. <laughs> the second second set of eyes, somebody that you're hoping I can sort of keep you accountable, is it? Yeah. Yep. And you say uh, group workouts, is that sort of something that takes your interest? Yeah, for a few reasons. Like it's yep. social, it keeps it fun, um, as well as I'm competitive, so I can okay. get competitive with the other people. Yeah, definitely. But you're in a sprinter coming out? Yes, I think so. You know. I mean, um, it's definitely something that, that we could look towards um, prescribing you with. I mean, obviously here at the clinic we do lots of one-on-one -on -one stuff. Um, we obviously with the trainer just with that athlete. Um, but we also do a lot of group setting stuff as well. So I guess that's a, sort of a great way to 
for a little bit more of a social environment, maybe a little bit more enjoyment. So obviously we'll, we'll still give something that something um, that you'll be interested in, but it's just more in that group setting. Does that sort of sound like something that? Yeah, um, group setting definitely. Like I don't think at this point I have the motivation to really do it alone. Yep. So group setting is great because we can compete and have a chat. And yeah, definitely. Yeah, we totally can do. Have you have you done any um, exercising in those sort of group settings? Um, I've always been part of a squad. Okay. Um, and done like Pilates classes and stuff. But no, I haven't done like PT or sort of, I don't know, like a 45 or yeah. sort of groups. Yeah. Like, yeah, I haven't done them, but I'd be interested in doing them right now. Yeah, I mean, um, currently at the moment, I'm actually training a lady that's, I guess, similar sort of circumstances to yourself. She came from a swimming background. Um, quite competitive, but now she's sort of just in, that exercise did drop off as well, and she's sort of just looking for a little bit more enjoyment. Um, just wants a bit more exercise, just wants to stay moving, and and she's um, sort of jumped into some of those group classes and and really enjoyed them so far. So, you know, I think that's something that you might really enjoy as well. Yeah, I think I'll really enjoy it, especially just like running is very similar in the fact that individual sports and once you're in water. So yeah, if she's enjoying it and stuff, I would think I will. Yeah, awesome. Um, in terms of your exercise, did you have any sort of ideas or, or needs that you wanted to, in terms of how much you wanted to exercise or possibly what types of exercise? Um, three or four times a week. Yep. Um, and the types of exercise, yeah, just your hit training and a little bit of strength. Um, probably, yeah, keeping the strength session to one or two and the hit to more of the sessions because I like hit better. Okay, definitely. So you like probably a little bit of a combination of both. But that's that's great because I mean we obviously do classes that, that sort of do hit both of them as well. Um, and in terms of your schedule, so around your university and, and possibly work? Um, so my average day, like pretty much free after 5.30 most days and before 8.30. Okay. Um, but I'd like to probably keep yeah, I don't know if I want to train in the morning because I've just got bad memories from training in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Those sprinting memories coming back. Yes, lactic sessions in the mornings really yep. don't, go, don't go down well. Well, that's completely fine. <laughs> um, I mean, most of our sessions are in the afternoon anyway, so that's definitely something we could look towards. Um, an afternoon session probably work quite well for you. How does that sound? You, um, is there anything else you sort of you wanted to bring up? Not really. That sounds great. Like just keeping it group based. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so I suppose now we can sort of jump out on the gym floor, do a little bit of sort of baseline testing um, and even look towards maybe a little bit of exercise prescription um, and then we can look into the finer details sort of, you know, exactly what classes that you'd, you'd want to go into and stuff like that. So how does that sound? That sounds great. Beauty. All right.